My name is Erin Feiger, and I'm a partner just like you who's been using the Microsoft Partner Programs tools for over a decade. Today, we're going to cover the different roles and permissions in Partner Center. When working with partners, one of the questions partners ask me is what are the different roles in Partner Center and what can each role do? Let's go over to Partner Center so I can walk you through the different user roles and permissions. Once logged into Partner Center, what you can see and do inside a Partner Center will be dependent on the programs your company is involved in and the user roles you've been assigned to support your organization's partnership with Microsoft. Many partners think they need to have global admin permission to their Partner Center account. The global admin is actually someone inside your IT department who manages the Azure AD tenant or tenants associated to your Partner Center account and any of the Azure AD activities that go with that. What the, the role you actually want is the Partner Center account admin role. Now, initially, your global admin will need to log into Partner Center and grant you the Partner Center account admin permission. Once you have that permission or that role, then you'll be able to come into Partner Center and help manage uh, giving other users inside your organization access to the various partner programs that they are going to support. So once I have Partner Center account admin permissions, I'm going to click on the configuration wheel in the upper right hand corner and go to account settings. In the left navigation menu, I'm going to click on user management to see the list of all the users that are associated to the Azure AD tenant or tenants that are linked to my Partner Center account. Now, before we go through the roles and permissions, I want to show you a little tip on how to navigate um, seeing the different individuals in your organization who have been assigned roles. So if I'm trying to find who are all the global admins inside my organization who can help me um, get the Partner Center account admin role, I'm going to click on this filter drop down list and go to global admin. Here's the list of any individual in your organization that you could reach out to to get you access as the Partner Center account admin. If you want to clear that filter, just click on all users to get back to the full list of users inside your Partner Center account. So let's go ahead and go through those roles and permissions. I'm going to click on the in email to open up that user. The first set of permissions you're going to see are the roles applicable to the partner program. So this is everything related to being part of the Microsoft Partner Network and the partner programs that you'll have access to inside the Microsoft ecosystem. That account admin, like we said, is going to be the person who can help determine access to other users inside your organization and giving those users the roles and permissions of the programs that they need to support. Additionally, your account admin is someone who can also support updating the legal information profile of your partner center account, the contact associated, and they'll be able to set up the business locations and the contacts associated to those business locations. The MPN partner admin are going to be individuals in your organization who are going to support your overall membership with Microsoft. So the competencies you earn, seeing the different MCPs that have associated and are helping you earn those competencies, uh, of working on your advanced specializations, if the, you need to renew your membership or buy an action pack, um, the MPN partner admin will also have access to all the benefits you've earned, your internal use rights licenses, uh, the vouchers. Um, also, you might want to think about giving someone in your marketing department access as an MPN partner admin because there are some go to market um, benefits and activities that they'll be able to participate in and resources that they'll be able to download. Um, as you earn different specializations with Microsoft, you'll also earn different logos. And so your marketing person will be able to download those logos and be able to use them in your marketing collateral or on your website. The COSEL solution admin is going to be someone in your organization who's going to help support taking the offers that your developers have published in the commercial marketplace and get them COSEL ready and potentially incentive eligible so that then you can begin to COSEL with Microsoft around those solutions. 
The business profile admin is going to be someone in your organization who's going to support publishing the different um, countries that you want to have uh, listed in Microsoft's directory. So this is someone who's maybe administrative or again a marketing resource who's going to be responsible for publishing your listings per country inside of Microsoft's directory. Managing your organization's referrals for one or more locations. When you click on this role, this individual will see the referral workspace tile on the dashboard when they log into Partner Center. The referral program is where you begin to co-sell with Microsoft um, bi-directionally, so accepting leads from Microsoft and also sharing leads from Microsoft. There are two different types of roles inside of the referral program that you can assign. You can be the referral admin or the referral user. The referral admin is going to be able to see everything under the referral program, so they'll be able to see the leads that they're receiving from the marketplace and any co-marketing um, co activities you're doing with Microsoft. They'll be able to support your co-sell pipeline, both bi-directionally, the leads you're receiving from Microsoft and other partners, as well as the opportunity and deals you're sharing with Microsoft and trying to get connected to begin co-selling with the Microsoft Field Sales Organization. A referral user is going to be someone who can only see the opportunities that they are assigned as a team member on that opportunity. So a little bit limited. Um, I like to just kind of grant a few individuals access to the referral program so that you can kind of streamline who's really managing your bi-directional pipeline um, and just giving them referral admins so that they can really work within the referral program on all the different areas underneath that program. But you can assign referral users and admins at an at a location level. So if you want certain individuals to only support certain locations, you will have the ability to get that granular under the referral program. The next program that you can assign a, uh, user roles and permissions to is the incentive program. When you check this box, then anyone with this permission will see the incentives workspace tile on their dashboard when they log into Partner Center. The individuals that you want to grant access to the incentive program are folks that are going to help you enroll in the incentive programs that you're eligible for, manage your participation in those programs, download reports as related to the earnings that you've received from those different programs and dispute any earnings um, and update any tax and banking profiles associated to each location and each enrollment of the incentive program. You can also set um, individual access by location and you have an incentive admin versus an incentive user. Again, an incentive admin is going to be able to do all things related to the incentive program. Incentive user is going to have limited capabilities. Um, and my, my tip here is also less is more, really streamline the, a few individuals to manage your incentive programs. The last partner program that you can assign a user role and permission to is the insights tab. So when you click on view data and reports, this will then give you the insights workspace tile on your dashboard when you log into Partner Center. Um, here you, again, you can either be a report viewer or an executive reviewer, and you can do that at entire organization level or down to the location level and see only the location that you support. The data and reports section um, keeps getting stronger and stronger the more you, you sell with and the more customers you associate to inside of um, Microsoft's programs and tools. So my core tip of the day for you is find out who your global admins are and get them to give you access as the Partner Center account admin. From there, once you are the Partner Center account admin, you'll be able to assign other users in your organization the roles that are applicable to the programs that they are gonna support. Really try and streamline um, who has access to what programs and kind of keep it as a less is more philosophy. A few individuals really supporting each of those programs will really help you centralize the management of those activities. I hope you found this information to be helpful. I'm Erin Feiger and thank you for joining me on this journey inside Microsoft's Partner Center portal.